especially when I got into ultra running. What was my first hat? For Nolan's 14, and then my... After three years of a daily running vlog, we've got hats, everyone. Oh, do we ever have running hats? Oh my, wow. And sure enough, I still have my first running hat. There it is. All right, let's break it down. Let me just collect all of these. Woo, actually, let's do it right now. Question of the day. Uh, do you wear a running hat? What is your favorite running hat company or brand? And why, why do you wear a running hat? Okay, I have a lot of thoughts on this. All right, let me just grab here. Oh my goodness. Whoa, and there's more down here. Hold on. Okay, we'll get some Vegas going. We'll get some Jean G, some, whoa, Path Projects, New Balance, Compressed Sports. Oh my goodness, Fractel. Okay, here we go. I think I got them all. The rest are more like in the trucker hat category. All right. Ah, uh, we've got them laid out here, everyone. Hats in big red letters, okay. Oh man, I'm excited to read your comments because I'm not claiming to be a running hat expert. I actually, this is flashback. I just thought of this. In high school, I started collecting hats. Uh, really, I adopted some hats from my, grand, my grandparents and I actually have them upstairs, some old, uh, like tweed hats. I just love hats. I've always enjoyed hats. Uh, I, I wore a lot of hats in high school, you know, baseball hats and other sports hats, but now it's obviously transitioned to running hats. Now, here's the deal. We've talked about running socks on this YouTube channel. Uh, we've talked about running t-shirts, okay, high-tech t-shirts, summer outerwear, winter outerwear, Oh, uh, what else? Well, of course, all of the running shoes. I will link to all of those vlogs in the description. I will, I promise, I'll link to them down below. If you're interested in learning more, um, I've, I've talked to even about running watches and I'm not even a tech guy. But now today, finally, sunglasses. Finally today, we're talking about hats. And yes, I'm gonna rank them and I'm gonna tell you what are my favorite hats based on this collection. In addition, uh, well, actually, here first of all, here's my run today, recovery day. Oh, need it. Here's my run on your screen, turning the doorknob. But first of all, I want to get on the screen as well all of the hats that I own. And I don't want to miss any, so I'm just going to put it on a title right now. All right? Soak it in. I'm not going to say a majority, but actually a majority of these companies are outside of the United States. Kind of fascinating. Uh, <laughs> what would you say is the, well, uh, let's just dive into it. This territory run company, I believe is based in the Pacific Northwest, but we've got CL, okay, over here. We've got CL is from, uh, I believe, the Quebec area, if I'm not mistaken. Don't quote me on these things. There's so many companies, so little time, like Fractal, here we go. Australia, I think, okay, Fractal, Vega, the UK, uh, over in the UK, I'm pretty confident about that one, obviously Solomon. So, what was my first running hat? And actually, a quick reflection back. A decade, no, we're, okay, yeah, over a decade ago, we're, we're gonna say 12 to 15 years ago, at the University of Colorado, me and my teammates, we did not wear hats, we did not wear sunglasses. Just wasn't part of the running culture at CU. Now, I don't know, maybe that has changed. Maybe more people do it. I think for me, I gotta say, it is easier on the eyeballs and that's, let's dive into it. Why do I wear running hats? It's to save the eyes. You know, that sun beating down on you, especially when I got into ultra running. What was my first hat? for Nolan's 14, and then my, you know, eventually running um, other races, you know, this is probably four or five years ago now, the North Face. This was the lightest hat that I could find. It's dirty, it's grimy, it's, it's stained, but I still have it. I don't really wear it anymore. Um, I think I even wore this maybe for the, the 50 mile run that I did for uh, raising funds. You remember a couple years ago for 
uh, helping families that had lost their jobs. I think I wore this hat, the North Face hat. Then I transitioned, yes, to a bright green hat from Solomon. You guys know why I wear bright green colors. Help it pop a little bit off of your screens around the world. Thanks for tuning in, by the way. So I wore this green hat. Actually, here's the first one, which is obviously very faded compared to this one. Uh, so remember, anyway, I, I, I got away from the green hat from Solomon because all these other companies caught wind that I liked running hats and sure enough started showing up at my door, which I'm grateful for. And I've worn many of these, most of these on, you know, short runs, medium runs, long runs, workouts, mountain runs, track runs. Oh my goodness, travel races. Um, actually, New York City Marathon. This is, all right, shout out to New Balance. I really enjoy this hat for the New York City Marathon. Uh, yeah, it was a solid choice, but if I had to rank my hats, and I'm not claiming to be a, run, a running hat expert, I ha actually have some, I'll say what I would like to think are innovative ideas on how to improve running hats, and, but I'll save that for another day. Um, but of, of course, you know, okay, summertime, gotta have a hat. It, just because of that sun beating down. Wintertime, I'll go out without a running hat, but most of the times I need a running hat in the summer. All the time in the, in the summer, most of the time in the winter as well. I put a buff over my head, and then I put my sunglasses on, and then a hat over the buff. That's my strategy. Uh, so, to rank these hats, I'm talking about breathability, I'm talking about weight, and I'm talking about how much does the, does the hat keep the sun directly out of hitting my eyeballs. So, Vega, thank you for sending all of these. Vega, you sent me a lot of hats. Uh, spelled, I think, I th and I don't know if I'm pronouncing these companies right, V-A-G-A, -A, uh, out of the UK. The brim is just a little too short. I would almost put this more in like the cycling uh, camp with respect to, you know, it just looks kind of like a cycling hat, a shorter brim there. And I usually don't wear these only because I would like the, the bill, another, the brim, the bill to go a little further, okay, just to block the sun from my eyes. Therefore, uh, I'll just say, okay, no, this is CL over here. This is out of the, uh, out of Canada. Fractal, I really enjoyed. You see these, uh, di this design here? Can you see those, those big holes there? Okay, I really enjoyed both of these hats, but they're overall just a little bit on the heavier side. Therefore, my favorite running hats right now. Whew, all right, we're gonna go for it. Uh, I'm just looking around, looking around. It is Janji, J-A-N-J-I. I'll try to link to this down below in case you're interested in picking it up. Very lightweight, very breathable, amazing. And then Compress Sport, okay? A little higher end, oh man. If you want a hat that's just like form-fitting to the head, and this brim is a little bigger, which is probably why I opt for this one a little bit more so. Both of these very, very, very lightweight, Zhangji and Compress Sport, okay? I also enjoyed Path Projects, but again, not the lightest but pretty breathable, but not the lightest, okay? So these two right here would have to be my favorite. With respect to speed, going faster, racing, I'll wear any of these hats on an easy day, uh, but in the middle of the summer, when it's hot out especially, I'll opt for both of these, okay? Let me just think, make sure I'm not missing any. Oh yeah, okay, I'll, I'll give a, shit, uh, a shout out to CL, C-I-E-L-E, -E, and this hat is their winter hat, and it's thick. Uh, and, you know, this winter has been very mild. Today's run was, you know, it was very warm out, but this is a great hat for the winter time. It's just thick, and, but it still keeps the, um, keeps the, uh, the sun off of, your, off of your face well in the winter time from CL. I'll do, again, I'll do my best to link to these pro all of these products down below. There you go, everyone. Running Hats 2021, transitioning into 2022. Again, question of the day, do you wear a hat? What are your favorite running hat companies? And why do you wear a hat? All right. A little bit of a niche vlog today, but it's it's good. It's good to get to go niche every now and then. Okay. Comment of the day. Here we go. Shout out to Chris. 
Richardson, thanks for being open with all of us. Here we go, Seth. Just wanted to let you know I made it through the Disney half. It was the worst time I have ever had doing a half marathon, but the most gratifying considering I am almost six months from the day for, uh, for from being diagnosed with throat cancer. Thanks for the shout out last week and all the support. Love the channel and the DGR community. Chris, you get the comment of the day. Thank you for the update. Uh, congrats on finishing a half marathon. Considering all of the adversity you've been through in the last six months, we're here for you. We're, we're here for you. We're cheering you on down below in the comments. All right, everyone, here we go. Oh, oh, I don't even know what, I don't even know what, I'm a little overwhelmed looking at all these hats, but um, that's, uh, I hope that helped you all. All right, tossing it to, um, we'll toss it to the summer outerwear uh, vlog. Summer outerwear vlog right there, right there, right there. All right, see beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.